Combining sentences, predicates. Combining your sentences can make your writing more enjoyable to read. When you have two sentences with the same subject but different predicates, you can combine the two predicates with and to make a compound predicate if they are about similar things. My friend Jackson paints. My friend Jackson is the subject, paints is the verb. My friend Jackson draws. My friend Jackson is the subject, draws is the verb. We can take my friend Jackson paints, use the conjunction and, add draws. My friend Jackson paints and draws. There are four things to remember. Use and to join the predicates. Leave out words that repeat. Make the subjects and verbs agree. And a combined sentence will have a complete subject and predicate. In our last sentence, or two sentences actually, we had my friend Jackson paints, my friend Jackson draws, and we combined them to my friend Jackson paints and draws. Did we use and to join the predicates? Yes. Did we leave out words that repeat? Yes, we didn't repeat my friend Jackson. Did we make the subjects and verbs agree? Jackson was a singular subject. Paints and draws are both singular verbs. Did we have a combined sentence with a complete subject and predicate? We have my friend Jackson, which is a complete subject. Paints and draws as a complete predicate. We'll look at another example. The squirrels climb, the squirrels hop. We have the squirrels in both sentences and then different verbs, climb and hop. So we can take the squirrels climb, use a conjunction and, and add hop. The squirrels climb and hop. Did we follow our rules? Did we use and to join the predicate? Yes, we did. Did we leave out words that repeat? We left out the second, the squirrels. We didn't need to say it again. Did we make the subjects and verb agree? There's one subject, squirrels, which is plural. Climb and hop are plural verbs. They don't have S's on them. The fourth one is a combined sentence. We'll have a complete subject and predicate. We have the squirrels as a complete subject, climb and hop as a complete predicate. The squirrels climb and hop. Sounds good, doesn't it? Let's look at those sentences again if they would have more words in the predicate. The squirrels climb trees. The squirrels hop from limb to limb. We have the squirrels as the subject in the first one again and the squirrels in the second one, but this time we have climb trees and hop from limb to limb. We can combine these sentences. We can take the squirrels climb trees, use our conjunction and, add hop from limb to limb. Did we follow our rules again? Use and to join the predicates. Yes, we used and. Leave out words that repeat. We didn't use the squirrels the second time. Make the subjects and verbs agree. We have the squirrels as the subject. Climb and hop are the verbs, and they're both plural because they don't have S's. And then the last one, a combined sentence, will have a complete subject and predicate. We have the squirrels as the subject. Climb trees and hop from limb to limb. That's a complete predicate. We're all set.